Hello everyone, today is December 24th and I'm going to do a story time video. So yesterday I was with my provider Jenny and it was Wednesday and we had planned to go to Battleground State Park in Washington and she picked me up at 9 a.m. I got all ready and I was so excited because it was a new state park I haven't been to and I was really looking forward to it. Um, it was a great sunny day. It was windy and cold, but it was so nice out. Um, we went through the highways and through the woods, and it was just really peaceful. We had really good conversations, and we arrived at Battleground State Park, and we um, drove through the state park, and it was a $5 fee, which was okay, um, because it was really worth it. We walked around the lake. We did the upper trail and the roll trail. And the upper was the view of the trees and climbing up. And the um, roll view was just the base view of the lake. And we walked around it and it was really peaceful. I didn't take any videos or pictures. I was staying in the moment. And I wanted to just work alone with Jenny without videos that day. Um, but I have it in my memory and it was a really good state park. Um, I really recommend it. There's some people camping too. So it was so cool because I think I'm gonna go back um, summer 2021. And then we had a, we saw people fish um, in the lake and boats on the lake. Um, we saw people with dogs and kids. It was a very nice park. I felt safe there. I would go there again with my providers. So it was a very good, relaxing morning. Um, and we spent a couple hours there and then it was noon and then um, we headed back into town and this is when the day uh, went down. Um, and it was me, it was not Jenny, um, but I want to just get my feelings out, so that's why I'm making this video too, um, because I feel like no one can help me but me, um, but I'm glad that she did, she won a clarification of, it was a day trip, she had her granddaughter coming in town, and we were talking about schedules, and we were both confused about, like, what time we were ending working together that day, and then she just wanted to re, um, confirm the time, and she said, are we working until 3 or 4 p.m.? And that is what triggered my meltdown and my breakdown that I had just then and there because the last time that happened, um, I broke down in a bad, bad meltdown. Um, and I was angry and I didn't know that Jenny was gonna say that then and there. And once she said that, I was patient. Erica taught me to be patient, which I was patient. So Erica is teaching me to just stay calm and just have a good conversation with her, which I did. And um, that is just how her brain works, is to just clarify. And she didn't forget, she just wanted to clarify. Um, but that made me upset. Um, because the last time she said that too, she was mad at me because she had a tone saying, it's either we go to get your pillow beads for sewing with Erica this weekend, or I take you home right now. And I was trying to stay calm because I didn't want Jenny to say that to me. Um. And I didn't want her to lose her temper again. Because if she lost her temper, then I would have been really frustrated too. Which will cause me to have a very bad meltdown that I can't control. So she, she was talking to me. And that is when she said that in the car. And then she pulled over because she could tell something happened. I was staying calm, 
I was trying to process my feelings without getting upset and getting angry, but I couldn't do it. I said to Jenny, I'm fine. I want to get through the day. I want to try and work with you longer and maybe have things to do to keep me distracted. So, um, we drove into town. I didn't want to go into town because it was literally when we pulled over. I was like, no, I will save that for a different day with you. And then, um, we went to a farm animal place and, um, we just looked around. Um, I had to be alone. Um, Jenny couldn't help me. She didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to process how I was feeling. I didn't know how to internalize my emotions. Um, again, my computer system was jumbled and I didn't know how to process it nicely. So, I was very quiet the rest of the day and overwhelmed, just trying to process my feelings without her helping me. And after the farm store, um, I was still upset. She was upset at me too, I could just tell. And I wanted to try and get through the day. And then um, she decided to just drive to a waterfall and it was Lucia Waterfall in Washington. It was so beautiful. It was like a 20 minute drive. And again, I was not verbal. I was quiet. I didn't have a meltdown. I was angry, but I didn't know how to release myself. Um, it was a very rough day. Um, so we went to the waterfall. We were like, we drove together, but we were like separate. Um, and then um, I was still feeling angry and sad. We saw the waterfall and the viewpoints separately in different locations. And Jenny went back to the car because she was getting cold. I had to stay out. And, um, I didn't even respond to Jenny either when she said something to me. I was very upset. So I was at the viewpoints and I was there a long time and I decided to climb a little cliff um, alone because I went back to the car. And it was like a little cliff and it was on a rock and I just sat there and I yelled and I was angry. I hit myself. I pinched myself. I was angry because I wanted to process those feelings alone and not have Jenny part of that too because Jenny was out of solutions. It was me trying to internalize my frustrations without getting upset at her. Because I was not upset at her. I was upset at myself. And then, um, she texted me saying that she was in the car and to come back because she was cold. But I didn't check my phone. Who cares about my phone when I'm upset? I didn't check my phone. Um, I wanted to say in the moment, I had a lot of alone time. And I just watched the waterfall and I was trying to just like rejuvenate myself and just refresh my memory and start a new clean slate. Um, I then went down the cliff um, and then I headed back to the car. Jenny was not in the car. Um, she was by like the map near the trailhead and um, the moment she saw me going to the car, she headed to the car right away. She had nothing to do with me. She was in her own mindset and she had to take care of herself before she took care of me. So I went in the car and I talked to her. Um, I didn't even put my seatbelt on. 
And then she said, sit up, please, because she wanted to go. So I did, I obeyed her directions. And mm, that car ride, was very quiet and awkward and I felt uncomfortable um it was quiet I had my hood on I had my mask on it was very quiet we didn't say anything to each other because she was upset um and then she was listening to the radio to clear her head and it was okay for her to do that and that was like maybe 30 minutes and then when we crossed to the open side i was i wanted to talk to her i wanted to express how i was feeling without being upset and i was trying so hard and i turned down the radio so she could hear me and then she ignored me and then she, because she didn't hear, she didn't hear me because I was talking not loudly at her because I was whispering. <laughs> and then I said it again, like a few minutes later, and it was very hard to communicate well to her when I was not in the right headspace. Um, she's said that she's gonna drop me home just to take care of herself and i'm glad that she did because she had a granddaughter and it's christmas break for her so she's been time with her family so i'm glad that she did um and i was so frustrated um and it's frustrating when people don't know the struggles i face and people are helping me but Again, um, I couldn't hug her yesterday because my sister came home and we were waiting for the test results. Um, she was very short-tempered with me. But again, I'm trying to change. I'm trying to have good coping skills and tools and have a good support team that has my back 24 seven. And I didn't want her to feel the way that she did because she didn't deserve that. But she did trigger, trigger it inside of me to feel this way but I couldn't let go of my thought I couldn't have a thought break I was angry so she dropped me back home I didn't even say bye to her I was that frustrated um she dropped me home early like I said um she dropped me off 45 minutes early but on the way home like 10 minutes away from home, I was gonna throw up. When my anxiety gets so bad, I needed to throw up. So I was trying to express my feelings to Jenny when I was calling her off to and say, I'm gonna throw up, I don't feel good. I need to throw up, my body's telling me to throw up because I was not feeling that well. <coughs> so I told her like five minutes constantly that I'm gonna throw up I'm gonna throw up she didn't pull over she offered to I thought I was fine and then I said I need to throw up and then she pulled over on a busy street and I threw up um I didn't eat anything so it was not um, food, it was more liquid and my bubbly water and it was gross. I threw up for like five minutes and then I felt a little bit better, but I needed to wear a mask on my face. 
but that made me more sick too to not be able to breathe and she did roll down the window too but I don't know people can only have so much patience with me so I went back in the car she said hand sanitizer because she knew I threw up she stayed in the car and she let me alone then again, I was silent, I was nonverbal, I was overwhelmed. I went in my house because she just dropped me off because she just needs to get away from me. And I needed to get away from her. Um, because we were supposed to do, to go to her mom's apartment and um, drop off something for her. But we're gonna save, save that for a different day. And I'm glad that we are going to save that for a different day, too. Um, and I took a shower because a um, shower got fixed and a pipe got fixed. So I was able to take a shower for the first time in six days. And that made me happier. Uh, a warm shower. I was freezing yesterday. I was like, I'm so glad I was able to shower. Oh, my gosh. So I took a shower. Um... <laughs> Then I texted Erica just about my day with Jenny and um, just to get my schedule um, with her next month too because that will make me more stable. Um, I had to be um, just very calm for the, the rest of the night but I didn't have to tell Erica that I had a rough day with Jenny and um, she knew how I was feeling because I needed to express it to someone and that person was Erica and Erica knows my triggers and she doesn't trigger me um, at all. I just had to say something to someone because I was suffering a lot inside. Um, and then I got, um, my sister got her test results and her test results were negative. I was able to, t to hug her and I was breaking down crying in her arms. I was very emotional. Very emotional. My heart was up and down when I was, I was like that. It was, I didn't let go for her for a minute because I didn't hug her for four and a half months. And then I emailed Jenny last night um, for a closure letter and I said, what I needed to say because I needed to move on and I'm good at written communication and verbal sometimes and um, I emailed her um, just my thoughts and how um, you can only see a glimpse of my life this is every day I'm trying to work on my feelings and um, I did a closure letter just to move on because I still feel like she's mad at me even though she's not I still feel that way um but I'm gonna see her in person um but I wanted to write that letter so that was my day with her again very emotional but I wanted to capture this on camera so have a great day everyone